Here's a tip on zooming in the program monitor panel in Premiere Pro. Normally what most people new to Premiere Pro do is use this zoom menu which can be quite a pain. There's 50%, here's 100%. To see everything, we go back to fit. Let's pull down the edit menu and select keyboard shortcuts. This is a great way to see all the keyboard shortcuts in Premiere Pro. Each key shows what function it performs. Holding down the shift key shows those keyboard commands. Holding down alt shows those keyboard commands. Holding down the control key shows its commands. Alt and control its commands. Control and the shift key its commands and so on. More cool magic is down here. Type zoom in the search bar and every key command for zoom is displayed. Scroll down to the project program monitor panel section. This panel is the program monitor where you see your editing. Click on zoom monitor in and click on the shortcut column. This box appears. I've pressed the plus key on the numeric keypad for zoom in. Select zoom out, click on the shortcut column and press the minus key on the numeric keypad for zoom out. Click on zoom to fit, click the shortcut column and press the zero key on the numeric keypad. To delete a key command, click on it and click the X in the shortcut. Notice when I try and set a key command that is already in use, it warns you and tells you when the program monitor has the focus, it will override it. We don't want that. Let's delete the key command and set it back to the numeric keypad plus for zoom. Click OK to save changes. Instead of using this dorky menu and wasting a lot of time, now we press the keypad plus key to zoom up, the keypad minus key to zoom down, plus for up, minus for down, and the zero key to go back to fit. Plus to zoom, zero to fit. This is really handy and you can set almost any key command you want for just about anything. If you don't have Premiere Pro and want to check it out, look for the link in the subscription below. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click the bell to get new videos. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.